<laughs> so that we can do uh, do some different. I mean, uh, we've lost the uh, blues, mm -hmm. and now they begin to put down all civil rights trail and telling our story. Yeah, right. But they won't they won't close the cold cases by solving them. They won't close the cold cases. But then cold hard cash off the <laughs> off dead bodies. Exactly. Uh, uh, we we uh, at one point talked about it when in our grand opening in 2005, mm -hmm. starting a civil uh, 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 traveling exhibit. And mm -hmm. in, in talking about it, it was taken from us. And uh, oh. the next thing we know, it was in London, England, and at every state almost. Wow. You know, but it left out what Mamie wanted to show, mm. what they did to about it. It, it doesn't have that in it. It's blocker, you check it. Yeah. It's not in there. No, that, it's that, not. that part, that the, 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 the casket opening and the, and the wow. face of the child and the, what happened to him is not a part of that, uh, which is, it's yeah. not authentic. It sure isn't. Yeah, but they do plan on uh, showing the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I think it ought to be us. I agree. Us. And what, what's the situation with the uh, Brian store? I mean, what's that about? I mean, I heard that. that they're trying to sell it, the family, trying to sell it for $4 million. Uh, they've talked about several pieces of money. So mm -hmm. I, mean, uh, I just think they want it to go away just as they want this community to go away. Mm -hmm. uh, this community should be uh, uh, supposed to be back to the cotton fields. Yeah. But uh, somehow I was born uh, <laughs> uh, and was a year, eight months, and 28 days old when all of this took place. And, one of the interviews that Milo gets said there will never be a nigga in charge of you know, the politics or anything here in this community over my children. Mm -hmm. But little did he know I was already here. Some of waiting. live in Priscilla, though. In Tallahatchie County, yeah, and Granada yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he, he would, uh, did not know uh, that I was here and uh, waiting to take. Uh, <laughs> Saw some yeah, Old right. Testament stuff right there going. On. <laughs> <laughs> Did not know I was here to begin my mission. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. And of course they they buried the kid in uh, money and uh, somehow they made him get him up and they sent him to Chicago. He actually was already buried. They had buried him and we well, had not covered him up. I don't think before they uh, somehow uh, the state made him get it up and send him on to his mother in Chicago. I got a but then uh, where they sent him to in Chicago, they sent him to 4141 Reno. Mm -hmm. That became my last four digits of my social, mm. 4141. Something they say is on you, you don't get a double digit in your social. But oh, wow. Mine came 4141. <laughs> so I said, wow. And I looked and I said, 4141 Reno. Wow. It was I your know. destiny to really uh, bring this about. I'm thinking it's destiny. Mm -hmm. I've been saying to my sisters there, and others that, you know, we're pretty much destined here, so all we got to do is to stand up and do what we got to do and make it happen. And, and I think that's one of the reasons your good friend, Luther Brown, decided to put me on the civil curriculum <laughs> to, to, to make something, uh, to try and bring something. He your friend. And not mine. So I put, uh, <laughs> he, he, that's who took my, that's who stole my stuff. Oh, I know yeah, you got yes kicked out. I told you got kicked out of Central America. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mayor John, but you got anything else to add? We really enjoy talking to you. Well, no, well, we do want to uh, uh, express that this bridge here mm -hmm. is now a historic site. Uh, it's been designated as a historic site because of the type of bridge it is. Mm -hmm. However, right. uh, they refuse to give me the symbol. I oh, got gotcha. you. Human, <laughs> human part uh -huh. of this bridge and and the significance of it, where my father said is where the kid was dropped off. In. Now was he still alive when he hit when he, when they threw him off the bridge? Uh, Emmett, mm -hmm. you know, I, I it was allegedly shot through the head at that point mm. already. So uh, I doubt if he was, but we don't know. Did they get like one of the black people to do it, or did the? Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, and I think, uh, it, mm -hmm. uh, and I believe, uh, it was said that either my father or Too Tight. Is uh, Too Tight still around? Too Tight is not around, and Too Tight lived in the house with us. That's why they kidnapped him and my father. Oh wow! Him. Both of them work for Milo. Mm -hmm. so they kidnapped both of them to prevent them from testifying. Uh, it, 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 uh, the 
story was going to probably be that my father went and helped to take the kid away and brought him back here, tied, pulled my, my cousin's father in and my another one of them mm -hmm. too tight and gave them the ring. That's when the drunken spree took place back here on Sunday morning and now waking, sending someone to get my father to bring him back out to go down to the museum here, get a, get get the fan that they tied around mm -hmm. my father alleged to tie around his neck and bring him here. My father said, no, it was not the Tyler Hatch that they dropped him in. It was the Black Value. But this is where my father went across here mm -hmm. to go back to where his mother and father was, so he knew the Black Value. Yeah. Mm. And, of course, he talked for three days. They interviewed him for three days, and that is probably the reason they reopened the case. According to Keith Beauchamp, that is why they reopened the case, because he had so much information. And that would lead to uh, oh, oh, reopening. Some of my readings was that uh, Carolyn Bryant, the wife of Roy Bryant, was actually present at the home of Mose Wright and pointed out Emmett. That is uh, Mose Wright uh, on our, uh, uh, one of the documentaries. He, he said that he heard a soft voice say, that, is this him? And, and they asked, is this him? And, and they said, yes, that's him. Did you Simeon say that too? Uh, uh, not Simeon, but Moe said it. Moe said it. Yes, this is him. So you think Carolyn Bryant, I mean, who lives in Greenville now, do you think any charges should have been brought against her? I mean, I know that they, when they reopened the investigation, that they got some evidence saying that she might have been there and point out Emmett. So you feel like she's liable for any charges well, in his she, death? Well, she, she was, uh, ish, a warrant was issued on her. Mm -hmm. I understand it back in 55 that they never did anything with her. They never did take them mm -hmm. and uh, uh, arrest her. And the last two in the reopening of the case was my father and, and her. And when I went to New uh, uh, Ohio with the FBI to speak to him, mm -hmm. uh, it was to supposedly to implicate her. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't happening with my dad. She was still living. I, I had to tell him that she was, he and her was the only two witnesses probably being looked at. Mm -hmm. and course that froze him i heard that he got some say he said he, he ain't fall for the okie doke but basically he's saying that you know in a lot of ways what he didn't say was saying that she was there uh, without saying it that was probably good for the other side because i don't think there was no way that uh, a white female was going to be arrested uh, then or now about that. That's mm. so, uh, Mayor John B. is an honor. Thank you so much yes, for sir. taking time out All your right. busy schedule That's to right. talk with us. That's we appreciate right. it. One of your old teachers.